I can say I've never been stingy with myself or scared to invest in myself. I always invested in myself. What's up? What's good? What's popping, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> Today, I'm just going to be giving y'all some tips on how to run a successful business. A lot of people DM me, text me, ask me all the time, how do you have such a successful business at a young age? How are you so successful at a young age? How are you so successful in general? And honestly, I don't consider myself successful. I have a long way to go. I have a lot to still learn. But one thing I can say, I've never been stingy with myself or scared to invest in myself. I always invested in myself. And that's just one of the main reasons. But I'm just going to give y'all some additional tips on how to run a, a successful business. Check out my book. I'm using it again. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, If you want more videos like this or more in-depth videos, just let me know. But, okay, we're going to go on and jump into the video. Number one, your motivation. Your motivation on why you want to have a business definitely matters. Don't let it just be the money. Like, when I first started, my motivation was because, like, I knew I didn't too much want to just work for anybody. I know I like to have my own rules. I like to follow my own rules and all that. So, therefore, that was my motivation to, like, be on my grind to have a successful business so that... I can have a source of income without having to actually clock in and work for somebody else. Um, I would say, like, for example, your motivation might be different. Your motivation might be you have a mom, dad, auntie, uncle, someone who's sick, need help. You want to take care of them, something like that. You want to quit them, want to stop them from working. You don't want them to ever have to work again or they're sick, need help. You know, with bills, any of that, that can be your motivation and reason that you go so hard. You know, so different different people, different reasons, different results. If you don't have any motivation and it's just money, if you have bad days and you stop seeing that money, you're going to want to stop your business. So, no, money shouldn't just be your motivation for wanting to start business. You should have some sort of other motivation. Okay, number two. Don't don't just depend on your business when you first start for income. I would say that because if you like have bills and stuff and you start a business one day and you just solely depend on your business for your income, then it's going to get overwhelming. And when you see it's not going as good as you want it to, you're going to want to quit and find some bounce to the next thing, find something else and just do that. So if you just solely depend on your business when you first start you know, start out, it's not going to be as good. And then you're going to get, you know, discouraged and want to quit. That goes with don't let money be, you know, the only reason that you want to do it. Number three, don't give up. Stay consistent. If you give up on your business, like within a month or two, say it's not going well and you decide to give up and then, you know, you want to start back up, people not going to too much trust it. Like, it's once you start start a business and stop it, it's hard to start another. It's hard to go back in business once you're out. So do not give up. Stay consistent. Make sure you don't give up. No matter how hard it gets, keep you know stay grinding because you know better days are coming. Everybody have had slow days. Everybody still has slow slow days. So therefore, don't give up at all. Make sure you don't give up, or you'll never be successful at anything if you just give up. Don't be a quitter. Number four, customer service. <laughs> I probably need to work on that a little more. But customer service, um, my suggestion, I would say I highly recommend typing out some things in your notes like answers to certain questions so that you can just copy and paste it. You know, even if you feel like getting smart, just copy and paste. Make sure you have good customer service skills because, you know, some people don't have the knowledge that others do so i get so many dumb questions a day but i try not to be rude i'll leave somebody i'll just look at their message and not respond before i just be rude um so i would definitely say customer service is a thing make sure that you have customer service skills make sure that you practice them if somebody texts you and be like how much 
even if it's right there because somebody's gonna do it if somebody takes you and say how much and the price is right there written all over don't be like you so dumb can't you see can't you read no just be like ma'am sir the price is stated in case you missed it is 35 dollars you know something like that so you know just practice them and put a few different things down in your notes and it'll be easier and you can just copy and paste when someone asks you a question that you have the answer to already in your notes and you know just be polite number five jealous jealousy is the ugliest trait never do it <laughs> jealousy no 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 baby girl no no if you see somebody else's business flourishing and you're like dang i wish i could do that dang my business not doing that dang and then you just looking at their business and be like man my business ain't gonna never do that my business not gonna do that huh i wish i could make that much money <laughs> don't be jealous because then if you just you know become jealous your business will never flourish do not ever get jealous of another person's business you know just let that inspire you to go hard because if they can do it you can do it too so just let someone else business you know that's so big you know everybody business have to start small so if you see somebody else business that's big just let that inspire you and motivate you to go harder so your business can be like that don't get jealous because then nine times out of ten once you get jealous good things don't happen once you, once you get jealous you're probably gonna quit your business because your business isn't doing what their business is doing so no number six don't get greedy believe it or not i see people all the time try to overcharge people for instance if you see somebody who want to buy something from you but you look at their pictures and you see Oh, they got on Gucci. Oh, they got on Louis Vuitton. Oh, they dripped out. And you usually sell it for $30. Don't overprice them and be like, oh, it's $50. Like, don't overcharge someone. If someone's trying to support you, make sure you're not greedy. For if Another thing, for instance, if you buy something for $5, can't nobody tell you how much to profit off of it. But if you're buying something for $5, don't try to, like, overprice and be greedy and sell it for $60. Because it's not going to be worth it. If you buy something for $5 and selling it for $60, yes, that's good profit, but you're being greedy. Don't be greedy. That never gets you nowhere. Once when you're greedy, like if you like overprice stuff and try to be greedy or overcharge people, they'll try to figure out your vendor. And then if they figure it out or even find somebody who's um selling it cheaper, they're gonna start shopping with them all the time, no matter what. They're not gonna shop for you, shop with you for anything, even if your prices go down. They're not gonna want to shop with you because you're being greedy. So don't be greedy because your business will fail. Number seven, religion and politics. Me personally, I love God. I'm going to say I love God no matter what. I don't care. I love God. But when you first start a business, please try to keep religion and politics out of it. You know, it's really up to you, but I recommend keeping religion and politics out of it. Um, Of course, I love God. Like I said, I don't just post about it all the time. I mean, because God know my heart, so I don't just have to post about it all the time. But yes, I will post about it. If you follow me, you'll know. Um, and politics, I never post about politics that much, for real. So, I mean, like, I might share an Obama post or something like that every now and then. But I try to keep politics out of it, especially when you first start out. Keep religion and politics out of it. Number eight. This is the last one. Number eight, be firm. Make sure that you're firm. Do not negotiate your prices because people are going to start treating you like they can get over on you or that you're some type of, you know, yard sale. So do not, if you have something for $30, somebody, oh, let me just get it for 10. Let me just get it for 15. Oh, I got 20. I'll catch up you right now. No, it might seem like a good deal right then. But you're selling yourself cheap and people are going to start, oh, I just talked her down. On it. And then the next person going to text you, oh, let me get it for 20. And then you might say no. And then they're going to go back and tell that other person, oh, they didn't let me get it. You know, and they're going to quit shopping with you all together. You're just selling yourself cheap all together. So don't be so desperate for a sale that you sell yourself cheap. That's all I'm trying to say. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, comment more videos that you guys want to see. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends for sure. I will be, you know, trying to upload consistently, you know, but I just got to know what you guys want to see. Um, and I hope life's treating y'all right. Be safe. And once again, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, go follow me on all my social medias.
and bye